Welcome back, Magic the Rescuing fans. Uh, we've got a couple new additions. we got some beautiful natural light coming in on the side here, and we've got our new card of the box pedestal from the VIP uh, Double Masters box. I figured that we would utilize this. It looks pretty cool, and we're going to put the best card from all the packs up there, and as we get the better card, then we're going to replace it. So today we are doing two pre-release packs from Theros Beyond Death. Um, very cool. Um, I haven't opened up a lot of Theros Beyond Death, but we are going to get into it. So six packs each. Uh, we'll do them one by one, and we'll see what we can get, what cool pre-release uh, cards we can get, and hopefully we get a Euro. That would be really, really cool if we can get a Euro. Um, Nyx Bloom Ancient would also be a very cool card to get, uh, but we will see what we can get. Straight into it. Oh, okay, all right. A little sleeved, sleeved box. We open up the box, and then we have our, of course, our 20-sided die, and let's see what kind of luck we're gonna get. A nine. Is a nine gonna be lucky for today? All right, and our packs and the little goodies that come with it. All right, what do we got? We've got life is short, but death is shorter. Okay, I guess that's the Theros Beyond Death. And then I guess we got, oh, uh, okay. There it is, Mantle of the Wolf is our promo pack card. I do like this card, I think it's very cool. Not sure the value on it, but we'll find out. And then, of course, we get our pre-release. Awesome code there. All right. I do like this. This is so cool. I love this divider. Um, just really helpful when you're sorting your cards. All right. Should we do it? Yeah, we'll do it the same way we do every every single boxes we'll do the left side and the right side and of course we got to start with the right side the east coast here we go we're going to spend a little more time on the cards in this since there's not that many packs and i haven't really opened a whole lot of theros beyond death so we're going to check it out starlit mantle look at the art on that card that is so cool all right starlit mantle Riet of Mountains Blaze, a nymph. Lots of nymphs in this, and nymphs in this set. Uh, Karametra's Blessing, always a cool card. The Elite Instructor, Human Wizard. Gift of Strength with the creepy, what looks to be like a bat pig. Just missing one, the bear, to be Bitsy, my cattle dog, bat bear piglet. Rage Scarred Berserker, very cool Minotaur card there. A Moss Viper. Fruit of Tizarus. Target player loses two life. That can fit in my Veto deck for sure. Return to Nature, always a helpful uh, artifact enchantment uh, destroyer. And then our first uncommon, the Dream Stalker Masticore. Elspeth's Nightmare for the Saga. Lots of Sagas in this uh, set as well. The Stinging Lionfish. Man, the art on these are phenomenal. I didn't realize how awesome the art on these cards is. And I love the alternate border on them too. Very cool. Alright, and ooh, very nice. A Nyx Lotus for the rare. First rare, very good. Guess where that's going. That's right, on the pedestal. Nyx Lotus taking the... Oh, and look at that foil. Foil Uncommon, Ferris Band Brawler to start off there. Very nice. Okay, and always the lovely full art lands of this set. Very cool. All right. Not a bad start with the Nyx Lotus. I'm pretty sure that's in the top 10 of the, of the cards on this set. So, here we go. Thrill of Possibility. Triumphant Surge. Look at, I love the borders on these things. The Loathsome Chimera. 
Oh, and all the omens. That's right. This one's the omen of the sea. We have lots of lots of omens in this thing. Thaumaturge's familiar. A little owl action going on there. The venomous hierophant. The bronze sword. Satyr's cunning. First uncommon is a slaughter priest of Mogus. Another minotaur. This one's the Minotaur Shaman. Very cool. Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Heliod's Punishment. And... The first Iron Games. I don't think that that replaces the Nyx Lotus. But we got another foil. Well, that's kind of crazy. Two foils out of two packs. That's... Not bad at all. Ooh, look at the foiling on that. Very cool Daybreak Chimera there. Full art, forest, and arena. All right. Starting off pretty good. Again, two, two foils and two packs. It's pretty phenomenal. So right side almost done with here. Glory Bears. I don't even know how to say that. Something Phosis. Important of Betrayal, the Nexus Wardens, Temple Thief, Rumbling Sentry, very cool Sphinx, the Witness of Tomorrows, very nice, of course the Carotid, Towering Wave Mystic, look at the art on these cards. They really outdid themselves on the art here. Daybreak Chimera, there we go, the regular version. And our first uncommon, the Entrancing Liar. Phalanx Tactics. The Hateful Eidolon. Oh yeah, that's right, there's like a bunch of Eidolons in this too. And then, a Treacherous Blessing. The Blessing. No foil on this one. That doesn't replace our Nyx Lotus for sure. Mountain and a Satyr token. All right. We are on to the left side, the west coast, the best coast. Can we beat the Nyx Lotus aspect of Manticore? Omen of the Sun. That's our second omen there. Deny the Divine. I don't think you want to do that. Don't tempt the fates. Don't deny the Divine. Cetitian Training. There's another Eidolon. This one's of Philosophy. Very cool card there. Voracious Typhon. Snake Beasts. Watch out for those Snake Beasts. Wings of Hubris. Some equipment action going on there. Scophos War Leader. Looks like we're getting a Minotaur in every pack. Myers Grasp. And here we are into our Uncommons. Dawn Evangel. Farika's Spawn. Cool Gorgon cards. Gotta love your Gorgon cards. Old Vraska. We got Warden of the Chained. Uh, doubling up on the Minotaurs here. That's a very cool Minotaur. Red and green. A little Gruel Minotaur. Ooh, and then Elspeth Conquers Death for the Saga. I'm still going to keep the Nyx Lotus in there because I think the Nyx Lotus is still a better card. So, two packs left in the first pre release. And we're starting off with a Stern Dismissal. Nyxborn Brute Cyclops. Heliod's Pilgrim. A Plummet. A Discordant Piper. Always a cool Zombie Satyr card. Flicker of Fate. Look at the art on this card. Is that like a, a Cloud Centaur? Very cool. Infuriate. Another familiar, Venomous Hierophant, Chain to Memory, First Uncommon is going to be Dragged to the Underworld, also a cool card, very nice, ooh, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun for an Uncommon, very cool Legendary Enchantment Creature, very nice, Escape Velocity, and... 
Shatter the Sky. Again, not going to replace our Nyx Lotus. One more pack left in the first pre-release. So far, our best is the Nyx Lotus. All right, here we go. Vexing Gull, Aspect of Manticore, the Sun Main Pegasus, a Nyx Born Sea Guard, cool Merfolk soldier there. There was our third omen. This one's of the dead. A Nyx Born Colossus. Ooh, are we going to get the Ancient? That would be really cool. Unknown Shores. Oh, fourth omen. This one's of the Forge, so we're only missing one. Only one omen missing. Altar of the Pantheon. I actually think that this is a really good card if you're playing a god deck. Um, add one mana of any color, and then uh, if you control a god, demigod, or legendary enchantment, you gain one life. Nothing wrong with that. That works in pretty much any deck that has gods in it. Works really well. Nylea's Huntmaster. And a Scophos Maze Warden for the Minotaur. Underworld Dreams. Good card there. Good uncommon. Metamize Prophecy for the Saga. And... Ooh. Oh, a Mythic. And it's an alternate Mythic. Heliod Sun Crowns. And that is definitely going to replace the Nyx Lotus for best card of the box so far. That is actually very good. That's a good pull. All right, so we'll put him there, him there. Nyx Lotus, you get bumped. Go down with the regular rares. And there's our first Mythic as well. And, of course, it's an alternate. And we're going to get right into our next pre-release pack here. That is a very good pull. I love the Constellation art. We might have to revisit it after we open up this box here. But Constellation arts are just very cool. I love that addition. All right. Here we go. Oh, a white die this time. All right, what are we getting? A one. Uh-oh. Uh, in Dungeons & Dragons, that is an automatic fail. If they still play that way. I haven't played in such a long time. I feel out of touch. And what do we got? Nylea's Intervention for the promo card. Okay. I'll have to look those up. I'm not sure about the promos. There's our arena. We're going to get those tonight for sure. All right. And we're going to separate it like we separated it before and start with the right-hand side. Let's see if we can bump Heliod's Sun Crown. That's going to be a difficult task. Uh, unless we get a Euro or a... Nyx Bloom Ancient, I think we may be out of luck on that. So let's, I mean, we could get that. That would be really cool. Nyx Born Brute, the Sentinel's Eyes, another Vexing Goal, Stampede Rider, Lampad of Death's Vigil. Okay. Bad luck with Lampads. I w I'll tell you the story some point, but uh, I, every time I see Lampad, especially the Cavern one, it just makes me cringe. Story to come in a, in a later episode. Pious Wayfarer. Ooh, the Reverent Revelers. I love that name, and it's such a cool card, too. With the Satyrs just going crazy there. Mischievous Chimera for the first uncommon. Sea God Scorn. Very cool. Look at the art. I love the art on these cards. Hero of the Winds, also a phenomenal artwork on that card there human soldier but just riding on a griffin is what it looks like there and thrix the sudden storm for our rare definitely doesn't replace heliod that's okay all right this is kind of cool i like opening these pre-release packs i might actually get one uh for the next uh set coming out zendikar rising I think it would be cool. Incendiary Oracle. The Nikar Rising looks cool, and they're trying that set, the set booster, which um, I'm very interested in. Look at the artwork on this Naiad of the Hidden Coves. Very cool nymph there. Another loathsome Chimera. Underworld Charger. Nothing wrong with a Nightmare Horse. Another Venomous Hierophant. 
Chain to Memory. Hyrax Tower Scout. Okay. Green human creatures are just odd to me. I don't feel like green it should be a human. But that's okay. Woo. Hero of the Pride. Love some Ajani style artwork. Love that card. Very cool. Okay, Agonizing Remorse for our first uncommon. Escape Velocity. A Hateful Eidolon. It's very hateful. And Treacherous Blessing. Did we get one of those already? We did. Okay, second Treacherous Blessing. And the cool Skull Swamp there. All right, last card on the right side. Nothing too crazy yet. I think that first pre-release pack is going to be hard to beat. Omen of the Sun. I, for, I don't even know which omen we're missing. The green one, maybe? Underworld Rage Hound. The Temple Thief. Annihilia's Forerunner. See, green should be beasts and dragons and monsters. Another Hero of the Pride. Chain to Memory. Elves. Can't forget about elves, of course. Farika's Libation. Look at that card. What's in her libation? It looks really disgusting. It looks like one of those green smoothies with no no sweetness to it. That's what it looks like. Farika's Libation is a cucumber, spinach, broccoli smoothie. Hyrax Tower Scout. Wings of Hubris. The Nyx Herald for the first uncommon. Reverent Hoplite. The Binding of the Titans. Another Saga. And... Tectonic Giant. Elemental Giant for our rare there. Definitely not replacing Heliod. Alright, on to the left side. The West Coast, the Best Coast. And the final run on this video. I think these pre-release packs are very cool. I like that you can get a uh, the special card, obviously. What are we doing? Stern Dismissal. Uh, Final Flare. It's just really cool, and it's stamped, so it's different, and obviously uh, there's some value there. But the fact that you get the arena code with it is pretty phenomenal because you get six packs per arena code. There's that awesome broccoli cucumber and asparagus. Yeah, she added asparagus to her libation this time. Green Goodness. Another Witness of Tomorrow's. I really like this Sphinx. He's very cool. Look at his wings. Purple and pink starlit wings. Very cool. Rumbling Sentry. The Voracious Typhon. And our first uncommon is going to be Acolyte of Affliction. An Impending Doom. Another Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. And Allure of the Unknown for our rare. And that definitely not, is not replacing Heliod. A Plains and a Goat. Oh, <laughs> Goat Token. I tempted to put the Goat Token on the pedestal. But no, we won't do that. Okay, two packs left. Here we go. Can we pull another Mythic? I think that Heliod's a pretty phenomenal pull. If we can beat the Heliod, that would be pretty awesome. There's that Omen of the Sun. I think that's our third one. We're one away from having a full playset of Omen of the Sun. Deny the Divine. Temple Thief. Cetitian Training. The Bronze Sword. The Satyr's Cunning. Another Hero of the Pride. Chain to Memory. Another disgusting green juice. Farika's Libation. And our first uncommon Banishing Light. Look at the look at that. Constellation art is phenomenal on these. Sweet Oblivion with the Picasso art on there. We're not sure where the nose is supposed to go or the ear. Inevitable end. And Dryad of the Elysian Grove is a very good card. Again, I don't think it replaces Heliod, but that is a very good pull. And we've gotten some pretty good pulls out of this. The swamp there and a human soldier. Last pack. 
Come on, Euro. He's in here. Got a call for the Mythics. Is Euro going to show and rear his nature face? Hero of the games. Leonin of the Lost Pride. Uh, they're lost. They don't know where they're going. The Triton Wave Rider. Omen of the Dead. The Nyxborn Colossus. A scavenging harpy. Ugh. It's eating dead bodies, probably. Captivating Unicorn. How do you follow a harpy with a unicorn? That's two big ends of the spectrum, but look at that card, too. I just love the art on these cards. It's phenomenal. I might have to get some more Theros Beyond Death. This is pretty cool. Oh, Renata called to the hunt. Very good on the uncommon slot there. The Thundering Chariot. Nishan Horn Beetle. And what's it going to be? Ooh, Thassa's Intervention. I think that's our second one. Crazy. All right. Oh, what do we got there? What is what is happening here? I got something. We got a mountain here. Oh, oh. Oh, we got a foil mountain. I didn't even notice it was a foil. The light's not shining correctly on this, but look, that's a nice full art foil mountain card. Very nice. And the island. And last but not least, the wall token. So Heliod, Sun Crown, Constellation Art Mythic. Very cool. Best card of the box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Magic the Rescuing and check out the details below to find out how to support. And if you like it, like it. And if you love it, subscribe.